In this video, we're going to talk about costumes. Now, we've already talked about how to actually add characters to your Scratch programs, but I want to define the word costumes. In the center of your, your menus up here, whenever you have a character selected, there is a costume tab. And if I go, you'll see that there's one costume, that being the character. You can actually go ahead and add costumes to change the visual appearance of your characters or your sprites. But note that they are, in fact, the same sprite. Just like if you were to put on a Halloween costume, it's still you. You're just dressed up as, I don't know, Anakin Skywalker or something. So if I were to go ahead and add a costume, say, I don't know, let's just go through the built-in library, like a there. One minute, my Iron Man me could be Iron Man me, and the next minute, it could turn into a bear. So for example, if I wrote a code that says move... 30 steps, and then switch costume to bear. Every time I press the green flag, it would actually move and change to the bear. Now note that when I press the green flag, it just moves forward because I never told it to go back to being Iron Man. So I would have to actually change the costume back to being Iron Man to get back my Iron Man costume. Now you may be thinking, why do I want to turn my characters from being one thing to a completely different thing? Well, you can use costumes to change the visual appearance. So I'm going to go back to my costumes tab and actually delete the bear. And now I'm going to upload, say, the Iron Man character with the mask down. Now when I run my program, if I were to start with the mask up, whenever I press the green flag, my Iron Man will move, let's say, negative 30 steps and actually change the costume to mask down. So move forward and flip the mask down to change the overall appearance. I could also do something like if I were to upload a, let's say, jumping Iron Man costume, like so. And if we threw this out, every time the green flag is clicked, let's say it starts as the normal Urgeish Iron Man. So here we go. And if I press the, let's say, up key, on my keyboard, a new event here, I can say switch to Iron Man jump. So let's see. And why don't we also say move 10 steps or move, change X, move up. Okay, so when the green flag is clicked, Iron Man mask, and when I press up, my Iron Man jumps as though he's flying. 